So I'm playing this game called Ruina, and I'm playing it, and some dudes like Kill Boss, and I'm like, okay, I can okay. do that. Just gonna go along with. You know, Five order. minutes in, he tells me again, Kill Boss, and I'm like, yeah, I got the memo. Ten minutes in, he's like, Kill Boss, and I'm like, I'm already putting a bullet in his skull, man. Well, I think it was, I think it was more that every five seconds. You yeah. get the flash on your screen, your screen gets glitchy, and it's like, kill boss. It's like, I know, you told me at least 30 times. Kill boss. Okay, yeah, I, I don't see anyone around, so I don't know who boss is, but they're not here right now. Could you call back later? Five seconds later. Kill boss. Yeah, so that's... That's ruined. At least it wasn't the whole game like that, because yeah, you go crazy. Yeah, thank God it's not Castlevania 2. <laughs> it is now dusk. No, it's light time. Now it's night time. What a terrible <laughs> night to have a curse. The morning sun has vanquished a horrible night. Man, what a hangover. Um, but this game, I really liked it. Compared to Redeemer, I think I really thought Redeemer... It's kind of deceptive because with Redeemer, because they came out within, I think, months of each other. Redeemer's not- like a monk, ninja, I don't know, Fighting monk f- martial f- arts dude. Yeah, it's kind of like Rambo. It's comparing Rambo to Blade Runner or Ghost yeah, in a Shell. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, I do have notes for Runer, and I've forgotten what it was. I think it's like Shadowrun meets Clockwork Orange or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm th- getting games mixed up. But that's what I thought, and I th- thought sort of like bad dudes almost. I don't know why. Maybe I'm getting mixed up. But, uh, yeah, this game, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's very over the top with the gore and everything, so... Again, not for kids. Not even close. So, mature themes only. Yes. Mature and offensive themes only. Yes. That's what we usually cover. Nice down dap. So, uh, yeah. I thought the the style, um, actual gameplay, I don't know. Maybe I just sucked, but I kept dying, and you were pretty good at this game. Yeah, mostly good. Um it does have this one thing that might piss off some gamers where it's like, oh, you have access to all these cool powers, but then after the tutorial, you're like, nope, you're, you're a weak-ass motherfucker. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, I thought this game was a lot of fun overall, even though it was, like, challenging. I guess you have to... I don't know what you're supposed to do instead of dashing, but... Um, I guess you just have to run around and... I tried to do that. What I found happened to me, and maybe it's just, like, my issues, uh, I found... I was running around and I kind of lost like I don't know if it's a camera issue but I just lost where I was like there were other people walk around too I don't know if that affected you too but I just found there was like so much going on that I couldn't tell like okay is this guy gonna hit me or is that me like I don't know I just found like the motion there was too, just too much motion going on that with like five different guys around you that I found it was really hard to keep track of like where I was amongst all that. Maybe it's just me. I uh, I think I had that same problem too, where it's like I'm trying to orientate myself. Yeah, like I was just disoriented, and I was like, I want to fight, but I don't know where I am on the screen. It's kind of like different than Death Coat. Death Coat was kind of like that, but this is more brutal because there's more people on screen. So it's more brutal, moosey. Brutal, moosey. Brutal. So what? Uh, what else? I I thought. It was interesting. The levels have seemed pretty short and contained, but I thought I wanted to keep playing. I didn't think it was like the most interesting game we've played, but I thought it was. I love the concept. It was and entertaining to say the least. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of weird. Like, oh, you've got to save your brother Jimmy or Billy Lee, but I mean, the story really doesn't matter in these type yeah, of games so much. It's basically your generic. Oh, you're cyber assassin. You're turned to good. You have to save people and stuff like that. Yeah, I I give it seven point five eight. I don't know if it gets if it's short or not. I heard Redeemer was when we played it, um, but this I found this was more entertaining than Redeemer. I didn't like like at least the camera doesn't change. Like, when you get up close for half a second, you can see your guy, and it's like, great, that's awesome. And then it backs away. No, it's just the constant camera. And, like, the level design and, and everything I thought was pretty interesting. It changes quite a bit. I give it a 8 out of 10. This game is pretty fun, addictive, and mm-hmm. it has, like, a lot of cool things for it. So I say pick this game up. 
Yeah, I mean, this is exactly what I always imagined what Shadowrun would be like without like any of the RPG elements. Or even so the this FPS elements. Yeah. Yeah. But this is kind of like, I was thinking when we were playing it initially, like, oh, this kind of hatred, but like the game, but uh, with color, but less not- gritty trying to be edgy. I mean, it did try to be edgy, but it's not, like, super edgy. <laughs> super edgy. All right. Well, that's all I've got. You got anything else? Well, I, it does kind of have that super hot feeling where time can move only when you move. Yeah. From time it's to time. Yeah. yeah. And I find that pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely I definitely say this one of the better games that, you know, it's not... Uh, it's not a, triple a but title but i'd say it's definitely polished enough to be close to that so definitely check it out keep on gaming. all right keep on gaming bye uh.